Hey everyone, Cookie here. I have for you a CSR 46 regicide gameplay. It is on Haven, and the way you play regicide on Haven is pretty much how you would play any other game type on Haven. Um, you almost always should go top mid in the beginning. Chances are there are people on the streets, people on open ramp and mohawks, so you can get, uh, you can at least potentially get a kill or two right off the bat if you rush top mid on Haven. So another huge part about playing Regicide on this map specifically is to use the fact that you are king. Playing on like Abandon or a Drift, it's kind of hard to use being king uh, because those maps are just a little bit too big and just like awkwardly shaped but uh, Haven is symmetrical and as you can see right now what I'm doing is essentially defending the ramp since I'm king and I know they're gonna rush me. Um, as soon as I spawn I immediately go for the king and end up picking him off and I pick up my snipe again and you'll notice what I do once again. I stay on this ramp because I know I'm king and I know they will rush me. People always rush the king always rush the king so if I have snipe especially I'm not gonna play super aggressively and with an indicator over my head so um, as king you shouldn't be afraid to play a little bit more passively I know in my past videos I've said semi-aggressive but you know it still holds true the only reason you want to play super passively or I played super passively is because I had the snipe so um You'll notice right here, I'm just letting them come to me. There are tons of people on my radar. I'm cleaning up kills. This guy chases me. You know, there, there are too many of them around me, so I just end up going for the beatdown, and I get picked off. But what do I do right off the bat? I know there are tons of people fighting over on Red Ramp, so I nade it, and I end up trading with this guy. Not bad. And you'll notice what I do once again. Uh, I've said in past videos that on Haven specifically, there are certain spots that everyone flocks to. One of them is bottom mid, and you can see right now, there are people bottom mid. Cursed Dog ends up picking me off, but there are like two people top mid, one bottom mid, there are more that are going to be bottom mid, and uh, that's one of those spots. And also the street ramps, like a red ramp where we were fighting is also like a hot spot. So right off the bat, right out, when, you're right, when you spawn, you should run there. Or run to one of the hot spots, and chances are you will find people. And the thing about Regicide is that you don't really have time to play passively. You don't really have time to go around and try to collect weapons or, you know, like target a specific person. You pretty much have to sprint as soon as you spawn. Uh, it's a fast paced gameplay, uh, fast paced game type, and especially when you are king you pretty much have no choice but to just run in. Run into where people are fighting and that's the best thing you can do. So this game is a pretty nice game. I was playing people that were pretty good and I had played them in the lobbies before because high level Regicide and Rumble Pit you pretty much play with the same people every match. That's just how it goes. So I know that they're pretty good but my shot was pretty on this game and you will notice that I pick up the sword and the sword is always something that's questionable to pick up on Haven because Haven is one of those maps I mean it's small but it's not too small and you know if you're sitting if you're king like I am and sitting on a ramp chances are you're gonna be prenated but I end up using sword very well um, I get one kill I get my overshield pick up a second kill get the triple and I try to rush in for another kill. I have overshield and I have sword, so I might as well just sprint in. Uh, this guy starts shooting me, but I know once again I have overshield and sword, so I go for him. Pick off the third guy for the triple, and I try to keep the multi kill going. Chris Dog ends up getting away, but you can see that with that sword I just got six kills so grabbing the sword even though sometimes you can be caught in a sprint or you could be caught at a distance grabbing the sword is something you definitely want to do on Haven because there are certain situations where it is extremely effective anyway this gameplay is super short it's ending very quickly I hope you enjoyed it and like comment and subscribe to the channel if you like 
And that is all. More gameplays to come. See you later.